Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, human and machine and everything in between. We are back with more Psychonauts, and we got a golden watch. All right, I think there's a brain out here somewhere, maybe, if I remember correctly. I could be wrong about that. I probably am. Yeah, I most likely am. There's the one we just grabbed. Oh, there's one right there. There we go. Don't worry, Frankie. I'll put this one right next to Kitty's. I don't like how Raz loves kissing all the brains. It's kind of weird. He's weird. You're weird, Raz. You're weird. <laughs> so, who's ready to become part of the theater? Hmm. Yes, I am known as an actor. And my favorite Pokemon is Cactuar. That's actually a Final Fantasy monster. I was thinking of... Oh no, actually Cacturn is a Pokemon now that I think about it, right? Cacnea turns into Cacturn. Why the fuck am I talking about Pokemon? What's wrong with me? Alright. Thank you, all of you. You're all so kind. You make <laughs> They're buckets so with faces happy. on them. Nice. Alright. I'm gonna grab this. Oh! You found my old trophy. I should really put that thing away before somebody hurts themselves on that gleaming metal claw-like part on the top. Say, would you like to hear the story of how I won that award, dear boy? No, I'm good. Uh, or are you trying to take it because you don't think I deserve it? No, no, you deserve it. I didn't take anything from you. I didn't ask to be famous. I just wanted you to love me. Hey. What? You're supposed to be dead! What? How do you see me? Oh, damn it, wrong, wrong, wrong power. How do you see me? Whoa. A picture of... Uh, who? Of herself? Of her mother? Okay. Well, obviously, madame... Mademoiselle, you need some assistance, so I shall comply and help you. Oh, if you don't like the performance, a simple boo will do. can see I've lost control of this production. Okay, Becky, get a grip. Child? Look, kid, it wasn't always like this. We used to have a hit show on our hands. Everybody loved us. But then our big star, Bonita Soleil, got stage fright and locked herself in her dressing room. So now we're stuck flipping between sunshine shenanigans and the horror of Agatha Home. Uh oh which is like flipping between a root canal and a sharp stick in the eye. Just ignore Jasper. He's just a critic who happens to be right. I'll go talk to Benita. I'm sure all she needs is a little pep talk. That and acting lessons. If you can get Benita to take the stage again, then you're the star of my show, kid. All right. <laughs> so right off the bat, all you theater kids that are part of the theater and drama clubs, you are going to love this level. Anyone who loves the theater will love this level. Anyone who likes the Muppets will love this level because of that guy up there. And anybody, me included, who likes Phantom of the Opera will adore this level. This probably has to be my favorite level in this entire game. It's not that big of a level from what I remember, but it is a very interesting one and it definitely plays off a lot of things. 
when it comes to the theater. So, for, oh, what the hell? Why did I fall off? So first things first, let's just grab our figments. Oh my god, I'm having a hard time controlling this. What the hell? There we go. I probably have to say this level was the thing that made me fall in love with this game. The Milkman was great, but this is probably my favorite one. Grab that. It's a lack of music. Oops, sorry. Oh, also for this level, you need the, uh, the cobweb duster. Upgrade! TK extension. Your range has been extended. Thank you. That's gonna be useful down the road. For a boss fight in particular. Hey! Guess she really doesn't want to see anyone right now. Oh, yeah? Well, you have no choice. Oh, Madam Bonita, why are you so sad? Please tell me your sorrowful stories of woe. Excuse me, Miss Soleil. I heard you were feeling bad, so I just wanted to say that whatever you're going through, you're not alone. I used to be a performer myself, and I know how hard it is when... Kid, can't you see I'm trying to have a moment here? <laughs> Sorry. I was looking for Bonita Soleil. You mean the personal muse of Gloria Von Guten, her inner sunshine? The spirit of her youth, yes. That's me. What do you want, an autograph? I'm kind of busy here. <laughs> All right, so who's that crying? So who's that crying? Oh, sorry. Hey, can we kill the waterworks for a second? Thanks. It's a recording. It helps me focus. <laughs> hey, kid. Move the fuck out of my sunshine. They need you on stage right away for your big number. Am I not playing this right or something? I'm drowning in a quagmire of self-pity. Giggity giggity. Why aren't you getting that? Should I be doing more with my hands? <laughs> Should I be doing more with my hands? <laughs> oh, I love Bonita. So, you're not going on stage? So, you're not going out on stage? Have you seen any of the plays we put on here? Those god-awful slices of Gloria's terrible life? How am I supposed to bring light to those? Listen, the burden of being the only sunshine in this theater is just too much for one beautiful, glowing, inspirational muse to bear, you know? I love you, Bonita. Can you marry me? So is there any way I can help is you take the stage? Is there any way I can get you to take the stage for the fans? If you can get me some help out there, so I'm not the only light on the set. I'll turn on a spotlight. Uh, that could work, but you'll need a candle. Uh, I think there might be a spare in the storeroom. If you can get a candle into a spotlight and light it, I'll come out and give the show one last try. But I'm not promising anything. <laughs> but I'm not promising anything. <laughs> I love the little accent, it's great. So. Oh. I'll leave you alone now. I know you have a lot of crying to do. Thank you. Now, where was I? <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna grab my figments and be on my way. You said in the storeroom, yes, ma'am? Oh, there's a figment here. And one here. Ooh, what's this? Gloria's Cruel Training. Back in the Hagatha home for girls. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be like a direct reference to something. There can be a lot of references to this, but, you know. Hey, her mom dropped her off. She was whipped into shape. Whipped into singing. Whipped into acting. Whipped, just whipped, and whipped during the performances. 
harsh cruelty. Thank, uh, thank Japanese idols, but ten times worse. Because this one is actual physical abuse. <laughs> Instead of just, uh, you know what? Actually, idols do already go through physical abuse, to be honest. Alright. I wanted to, I thought that was a rail I can grind on. I need to find your tag, because you're crying. It's pissing me off. Oh, I have your tag! Good. <laughs> I needed that crying to shut the hell up, so I can think sh straight real quick. Alright, there's that. No, go down, go down the... There you go. I wanna grab those. And then there's... Up here. There we go. All right. Back out into the stage. Uh, through the door. Oh, you're trapped. That's bad. Let's help you. Got it. Here you go. Hi, Becky. Shit. Get up there, Raz. What the hell's your problem? There we go. I want to grab this figment. Oh, there's the figment I want. Maybe I should come back later when he's not sleeping. He looks too mean to wake up. I mean, he does have devil horns for hair. I'm waiting for the figment to come rolling by again. I wanna, wanna grab it while it's here. Come on, figment. Come on. All right, leap of faith. Oh shit, there we go. <laughs> All right, I think we can get more air time with that later. I think I gotta activate them. Um. Just check down here. Did I get all the ones on the... On the, uh, whatchamacallit? Ah, fuck it, I'll just wait for them to come here. Come on. That's one. I think there was three floating around. Come on, where are you? How the fuck? Okay, there's that. Oh, come on. Ah, fuck it. I'll come back for it later. have been cleared. Come on, grab the figment. Alright, somebody is like throwing a bunch of dishes in my house. What the hell? Alright. Ammo up. That's all I needed. I want that. I want that so bad. You gotta give it to me. God damn it. Alright. Candle time. Uh now, how can I Oh Pyrokinesis, I'm sorry. Take that candle. Look alive, people! Bonita Soleil is about to take the stage. Flower girls in position one. And action! Tonight, I will be playing the part of Gloria Von Guten, the famous actress. In this 
nostalgic memory of her breakthrough role in the smash hit musical, Sunshine Shenanigans! <laughs> and where would Gloria be without her muse? Her inner sunshine. The spirit of her youth. Played tonight, once again, by Bonita Solé. Oh, shit! The Phantom! I've seen some bad plays in my day, but this one's an actual menace! And it's all her fault. It's her bad acting that makes the Phantom strike. <laughs> this time, I'm going to file a formal complaint and get this theater shut down. Great. Well... I'm off to go kill myself. <laughs> you know, he could be a more constructive critic. Kid, if you want to see a good play, come talk to me. I've got a script here that'll knock him dead, I promise. Hey! Whoa, 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 whoa! Careful! That's the manual mood override. That's how we set the right mood for the play. Mess with that, and we'll have happy plays on sad sets, sad plays on happy sets, total chaos, or worse. Improv. Listen, so people who can't do, do improv just suck that acting, okay? Override, unless you want to see some strange stuff happen. I think Becky's not telling me the whole story. I should go give her a piece of my mind. Ah, uh, now we got music in the background. That's nice. All right. Come on. Come on, Figment. Just come floating down for me, please. Damn it. Come here. Bullshit. Are you a dog? Good boy. Ruff, ruff. Oh, you're playing a dog. All right, what's your script? Hey, can you help me get up to the catwalk so I can fight that phantom? Ah, can't get there from here. <laughs> I mean, unless you did that one particular play on that one particular set. Oh, but what unless I, I put my one particular foot up that one particular ass. Forget about it. The theater is doomed. All right. Uh. Hey, why do you gotta be so hard on Bonita? Hey, why do you have to be so hard on Bonita? I'm trying to save you from that mysterious phantom character. He only attacks when Bonita performs. If we got rid of Little Miss Sunshine, we'd all be safer now, wouldn't we? I'm only thinking of the children. Okay. Bonita's trying to lighten things up, man. Bonita's just trying to lighten things up around here. Ah! I've seen better shine. She's trying to shine bright like a, a diamond. Shoe. She should quit now. Well, she can still get a job as a night light. Okay, can't say anything nice, don't say it at all. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. The young boy's protests, though heartfelt, quickly lapsed into simplistic and tedious platitudes. One and a half stars. If you hate the show, why you watch it? If you hate the show so much, why don't you just leave? <laughs> Say that to everyone who watches the Harley Quinn show. If you hate it, then why the fuck do you watch it? Car accident. A car accident where the victims can't act and the paramedics forget their lives. All right. See you later, bitch. Later, you old gas bag. Listen, this play just stinks. Here, try this one instead. This play has some action in it, some zing. Wow. Thanks. Are you actually being nice? No, I'm just trying to keep myself halfway entertained. Go, give that to Becky, and see if she can't find some actors to ruin it. All right. Come here, come here, damn it. Come here, come here, you're mine. Come on! That one figment is pissing me off. Where the fuck did it go?
You're so full of shit, Figment. There you go. All right. Hey, what part are you playing? Well, I have a lot of walk-on bits. Oh, and sometimes I do the mailboat guy. It's a small part, but my agent says this is going to be my year. Lion ass agents. Oh, there's figments over there. Were those figments or just props? Yes. Okay. Interesting. How the hell do I get up there? I think I need a I think I need a stage prop for that, if I remember correctly. Man, I gotta say I do. There is something about the about the uh, you know like Broadway theater that I do like. But if I ever if I ever somehow ended up working on one, I would love to be a stagehand. I think being a stagehand is like fulfilling, right? I feel like it would be fulfilling. You get to make things and see people use the things you make. Oh, who would have thought that and then when you when they need a problem solved, they fucking go to you. Huzzah! Forsooth! What is thine sweet smell in the air? Let us spin and be happy, entwined in this pole of love, forever young and twisty! Rejoice! For spring has besatten upon ourselves, and the spirit of May is a-lingering! God, that was terrible. Okay. Picking up some figments. I'm gonna head behind stage real quick, if I may. Okay, I couldn't tell if these were, uh... I'm just gonna move them. I'm just gonna get rid of them. They, com they confuse me, you know? All right. Hey, Becky. How's things going? Hey, you said that if Benita performed, everything would be okay. Okay, so I left out the part about the deadly phantom. I thought you'd chicken out. Ma'am, I'm a psychonaut. Just show me how to get up to those catwalks. She doesn't know what a fuck a psychonaut is. Sorry, no way up there. <laughs> She's a figment of her imagination. We would lower this prop hot air balloon down from the catwalk and then pull it back up again. If you find it, or any other play for crying out loud, just bring it to me and I'll run the actors through it. We're so desperate for new material around here. Hey, what's this? A new script? Night of Joy. Weird. It smells like popcorn and it doesn't say which set to play it on. Oh well, we'll just lay it on whatever's on stage. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Here, you can be my first AD. Use the megaphone if you want to run the play again. Okay, new script, everybody. Let's practice. And action. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? Wow. 
Wrong set. Alright, so your main goal here is to find new scripts through the sets and interact with the sets through the scripts. Does that make sense to you? Makes sense to me. Okay, let's let's let's, let's give it a try. Uh let's change set. Because this is the wrong set. You change sets by uh two ways. Uh you have both well you have comedy and tragedy, right? But this isn't really comedy, this is more, you know, just happy stuff, right? So you have uh, you know, happy happy and tragedy, right? <laughs> and right now we have happy mood. So you run through here, it switches the stage. That was a figment. I want that. And then you would tell them to run the play, and then whatever happens. I thought that was a figment. Oh my god. And then whatever happens, uh. Am I stuck? Get the fuck out of here. Basically, you change the sets, and then, you know, do, do the thing, get it, interact with the set, and blah, blah, blah. You know, you know. You know, you know what I mean, you know, you know? You know. I think you know you know. You know that I know that you know. Ow! Too rough! Alright. I think we need to switch this to tragedy. Getting, like Mario Party vibes from this, you know what I mean? It's probably the music. Especially Mario Party 2. <laughs> Welcome to Hagat the Home School for Girls, where you will begin your long and painful training in the theatrical disciplines. <laughs> but I don't want to study theater! I want my mom to come take me home right now! Your mom has a career and a boyfriend to think about. She doesn't have time for an ugly little girl like you. Boo hoo hoo hoo! There is nothing more tedious than the tears of an unlovable child. It's time to suffer for your art. Oh, a balloon. Okay. Now, when you're down here during tragedy, you will be attacked. Keep that in mind. I usually kind of just ignore them, to be honest. How do I not? Oh, there we go. I'm like, how did I not get that? All right. Uh, hey, there's the hot air balloon. I need to get to the catwalks. We need now, to get that I one just get script. Them to do a play that brings it down here. I could write it up to the catwalks and take care of that phantom. All right. First things first. Grab my figment. I need to do. You know what's really weird? Like, it feels like I should be able to just jump up there, right? I think there was an invisible wall. I was basically there. You saw that? I'm basically there. <laughs> like, alright. Switch. Here we go. Boat ain't coming for you, girly. The mail boat may never come, but I think I see the mail train approach it through yon tunnel. Mail train? Yay! Surely it bears to me a letter from my dear mother who abandoned me at this school for girls so long ago. A dragon? Ah! Ha ha ha! 
dragon indeed. You have been fooled and burned. Outstanding. Ow. Alright, stop. Stop with the pain. Stop with the pain. I don't like it. Pain is bad. Pain is bad. Hey, Son of a... Alright, cool. Okay, the dragon will burn me. Nice to know. Play the knight! Wrong button. I'm out of joy, please. Yeah, that one can use a little work. Mother, mother, tell me true of the dad I never knew. He was brave in thought and deed. Can't you hear his mighty steed? My father has nobly smoked the beast to his own death! He is a hero! Yay! And for the record, not a bad kisser. What? Why is that relevant? <laughs> Alright. Time to get the next script. The day the mail boat finally came. I'm going to, uh... Huh. I wonder if I can play it on here. You know what? No. Switch it to, um... Actually, you know what? Play it. Yeah, play it on this set. Oh, I gotta hand it to Becky. I forgot. Becky, your actors are trying to murder me. Oh, another script? The day the mailboat finally came? Uh-oh. Prop department, I'm gonna need a boat on stage right away. Okay, people. Laces, everyone. And action. I say, I believe I do see the mail, but approaching. Oh, it was never a vessel more beautiful and resplendified. Sorry, no mail for you, ugly girl. Oh, no. Well, <laughs> That's fucked up. It's hilarious, but fucked up. Man, that's really sad that there's no mail on this tragic set. What if it was a happy memory? Becky, I would like to see the day that the mail boat came, please. Oh, happy doggies, I love you. The day the mail boat finally came needs another run through, I think. Yeah, that one can use a little work. I say, I believe I do see the mail boat approaching. Are you Miss Gloria Von Guten? Yes. Well, then these bags and bags of lavender scented fan mail must be for your beautiful self. Yay! All right. Uh, take me away, boat boy.
<laughs> I'll do my manner. I'm gonna do. Oh, where the fuck am I? Oh, shit. Okay. Well, uh, uh, figments didn't work for a moment, and the camera is really fucked up. I'm not going that way. By Hagatha Home. What does this switch do? Oh, back to the day the mailboat came. Alright, cool. Why is the camera so fucked up? Camera, fix yourself for a moment, please. Thank you. I want to, uh... Switch it to tragedy for a moment. Please play the day that the mail boat came. We'll just skip through this. Oh, fuck. I skipped that by accident. I did not mean to skip that. What the hell just happened? There you go. Stop fucking shooting me. Well, maybe you should have stopped shooting me. You should have thought about that. But you didn't. I'm just switching back to this so I can grab uh, figments if I left them. Alright. Ow. Becky, got a new play for you. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right. So we got to switch over to uh it has to be tragedy, but they're um it's the first set that had the blue on it. I want to see the happy version of it though. <laughs> Won't stop me from coming down there and kicking your ass. <laughs> that was great. Let's see the happy version of that. Ah, oh, such such a wonderful game. Must be out of range. All right. All right. Uh, Haggath home. No magic cloud 
in this set? Oh, rats. Well, uh, let's just run around happily and maybe no one will notice. All right. <laughs> I like the, the angry version of it. So it won't stop me from coming down there and kicking your ass. Oh, man. Okay. I gotta switch sets. I feel like I'm missing some figments down here, but if I am, I'll just come back for them. We'll have like a, a cleanup episode. again. The end. Huh. That's the sad version of it? What's the happy version of that? I mean, you can only get up there with the sad version, because that has the, uh, that has the, uh, you know, the spots that you can swing off of. I just want to see the happy version of it. Good boy. It's only on that one set. Alright, I didn't know that. I thought it was on the happy set as well. Well, let's get up there then. Goodbye, Hagat the Home. Act one, scene one. There you go. There we go. All right, up I go to stop the Phantom. May not be welcome, but eh. I invited myself anyways. This is my sanctuary. I'm waiting for come the figment to come to come by. So 
What's really funny about this part of the level is that speedrunners have figured out that this place is filled with invisible walls, but there are also holes within the invisible walls that you can float on through if you're using the flying cheat. Cheat? Exploit? <laughs> Only in the PC version, anyways. Oh, come on, where's the uh, figment? I see you down there. I know you see me. Shut up. <laughs> Look for the figment. I'll kill myself for that figment. I'll do it. Look out below. <laughs> it's over there. Now where is it going? Uh oh, oh here it is. Short and stout. Where Where'd it go? Oh, it's only floating around over there. Just kidding. I am the Come on. I just want the figment, man. I'll kill myself for that. Do it. You can't tell me that I won't. I did it. See? Look, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I killed myself for it. Ugh. I got three lives left. Watch your step. Oh, you think you're so clever. I almost fucking died. <laughs> Wait, where the fuck am I? Is that where I landed at before? Is that my checkpoint? Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Nice. You are not welcome here. Fuck you, sensor. This is my sanctuary. Come no closer. Will be the last thing you do. I am the Oh, does that not lead to uh the baggage? <laughs> I thought it did. Where the fuck is the baggage? Oh, there it is. There you go. This hat box needs a hat box tag. I thought I had the tag for it. I see you down there. What do we have here? Glorious fallen star. Big lights, big city. That's the life for me. Have any of you watched James and the Giant Peach? I fucking love that movie. Anyways. Gloria shines bright like a diamond. She wins a bunch of trophies. There's her trophy right there. And then she gets a letter. It ruins her. Mother. No. So, here's her story. Right? Oh, and yeah, her acting fails because uh, she she's, you know, traumatized. And she goes crazy over it. Split personalities. Whatever. All right. So here's her whole story, just in case you're confused. Her mom used to be an actress. Look out below. Seeing that she wanted her daughter to be an actress just like her, she put her into acting school, a very harsh acting school, in which her mother basically neglected her to focus on her career. You know, never talked to Gloria, nothing like that, never sent any letters. Um, but while this was happening, Gloria was, you know, persevering. And later, she overshadows her own mother, her mother, uh, her mother's, um, fame declines, and she becomes a nobody, basically. And then fucking, uh, jealous of her own daughter, she says, you know, she, you know, she commits suicide. But before she does that, uh, Gloria basically leaves her, saying that you never, you know, been there for a minute, not knowing that her mom was suicidal. So she blames herself for her mom's suicide, causing her to fail in her acting, and blah, blah, blah. Why the fuck are you guys so swole? 
the strong nerds. There we go. Is that all the emotional baggage? You are not welcome here. I don't think it was. I might be missing one. This is my sanctuary. Okay. Come no closer, or it will be the last thing you do. There you go, that's the last emotional baggage. I am Phantom. There we go. Where did he go? He's invisible. Ow. Oh my god, it's the Phantom. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Phantom? Stop, or your next step will be your last. You can't make me. I actually want to come over here because I think there might be a figment or something. Okay, never mind. You can't make me. Candle's mine, baby. I must be missing a figment. Oh, wait, is that a figment over there? No, I don't think that's figment. I can't tell. Anyways, shine bright like a diamond. Anything but that. It's not really sunlight. It's a candle. You shall pay for angering the pet. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Now just stay put so I can come punch and unmask you. <laughs> he looks like a bootleg uh, Grim Adventure Billy and Mandy Reaper. <laughs> I love him. It's a great design. I was hoping that was the last figment. I was really hoping for that. Okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. What? That makes no sense. He's so I big. I totally guessed that. Uh-uh, you said it was Becky. Okay, the jig is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never! How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years! What? Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and... thin. He could never be you. Why, you... Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom? But he's nothing compared to the full destructive force of an angry critic. Oh no, Twitter's gonna I'm attack. Gonna say this and still sound cool. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Alright, time for the boss fight with the critic. I don't know what's at his actual name, right? But we're gonna need those candles. So let's go get those candles. I'll just grab those, thank you very much. Now as he pointed out earlier, as the phantom, he d ow fuck. As you pointed out earlier as the Phantom, he doesn't like sunlight. Your or candlelight, I guess. And 
And that's basically the main reason why, uh, why he doesn't like Bonita. Because Bonita is bright. That light! I'll give you all good write-ups in the review if you kill that kid with the goggles! Ow! 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 The perfect... The perfect combination Ow. of mobility and power. You'll pay for that one, Spotlight! Take that wretched regurgitator of the sun! Man, you have... You have some problems. Maybe you have vitamin D deficiency. So does the other fucking half of America. I guess half of the world now since everyone's been inside for so long. Now, how can I light that Kill him! Get him! Ow, fire, hurt, fire, burn. Fire, not good. Ow. Ha! Not so fast. You'll pay for that one, brat! Not good enough! A terrible fighter, not up to the task at hand. Oh, shit! Just play. I went straight into that one. The crowd would have been disgusted had they managed to stay awake. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Oh, gotta get the candles. This is what happens when you're reckless. I'm just trying to brute force it, really. I think I can just, like, set them all up, right? So I don't have to do it again. Oh. There we go. I'll kill him before he gets over here. I'm just going to go behind him so I don't get attacked. Ow! You pay oh, shit. Oh fuck. A terrible fighter, not up to the task at hand. Oh, I can't tell if they're tracking me or not. Your fighting is weak. He's just leading his shots pretty good. Ugh, it's like my is are being I'll give you all good write-ups in the review if you kill that kid with the goggles. I'm just gonna be over here. Where no one can get me. Ow! Fuck. Oh, another spotlight. I thought I got them all. I'll give you what I gave your brother over there, huh? How do you like that? Just plain bad. <laughs> There we go. Why didn't I bring my kill him? Get him. Oh shit. I guess I did deliver my promise of sticking my foot up his ass. Oh, Twitter and YouTube comments. Don't you know? Your opinion truly doesn't matter. You're all forget about it within the week. 
<laughs> How many people did I just upset? critic is so small and pathetic. It's almost like the words of hurt that they say have no meaning. Handsome, the spotlight is all yours. I believe I shall happily retire while I'm still young. I mean, you got money, so why don't you? Finally, recognition for my acting talents. Hey, we did it. I'm a chef, chef too. 